The day EA broke Madden, boys, is here. October 4th, 2023 is going to go down as the day defense died. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I played, just in testing these notes, pretty, pretty bad, boys. Pretty bad. Now, we do have defense. Um, it's not as good as it was before. I think they're trying to get us to play defense differently. So we're going to be testing some different methods. If you're not a Patreon member, that's where you get all my ebooks, and we're going to be updating it all day uh, with new ways to get pressure, with new ways to play defense, to get a stop, um, because this this game and what they just did to defense is pretty significant. Um, at the least, it changes everything about defense. Okay. Um, it changes how blitzes work. They literally will name, you'll see in these notes in a minute, they name the blitzes they patched. And um, they attacked every meta blitz that we've found uh, over the last five, as long as next gen has been a thing, and even before next gen has been a thing. This is a significant transition. I think with their, I, they waited three weeks to drop this patch. Um, people played MCS competitive. I mean, there was multiple MCS tournaments on this, this last edition of the game. And, um, I'm kind of shocked that they did what they did. Um, I would have not been upset whatsoever had they patched the loop blitz, but they decided to patch every blitz. And, um, that's pretty bad because at the end of the day, and, um, and we'll get into these notes in just a second, but here's the deal. You're either an odd or an over front, okay? Uh, Kirby Smart said that, coach of Georgia. The point being is, from a pressure perspective, creating, and I've, I've worked on and created blitzes for the last 10 years, the truth of the matter is you're either an over or an odd front, right? So you're either dollar three two or three four odd or one four six or two four five odd or three three five odd. Those are all known as odd fronts. Okay, very similar. They're all similar to one another. They work uh, mechanically in a very systematic way. So when you patch one blitz, you kind of to a degree um, patch all blitzes when you do it the way they just did it because they changed how the offensive lineman logic work. Now, I'm not necessarily just mad. I'm not even mad that they patched the blitzes. They didn't fix the coverages. Um, so if you can't blitz and you can't stop the run and you can't play coverage, you feel very helpless defensively. That's the frustrating part about the state of Madden 24. Um, so anyways, let's get into it. But the bottom line is I did want to quickly say, Two four five odd, three three normal, three three five cub, three three five odd, dollar three two six, one four six, two three six will. They are all very similar because they're a three down line in front. Uh, big nickel over G, nickel over four three even six one, nickel wide nine, nickel two four five double A gap, nickel um, double A gap, big nickel over G, dime normal. Those are all similar. Why? Because they're four down line in fronts, or they're over fronts generally. So. Gameplay abilities, following ability additions are exclusive to PS5, Xbox X. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure what they're doing with this, but they basically added new abilities into the game to these players. Uh, we'll have to kind of time will tell. Uh, I think these are X factors. Yeah, these are X factors. Um, yeah, or some are X factors, some are abilities. I'm not really that concerned about this. Um, I'm sure we're going to get more into that as we see Mutt. But I want to get into the gameplay stuff because that's the biggest thing that is... Gameplay foundationally drives everything. And if you don't have a good gameplay, you don't have a good game. Okay? Um, so, catching. Fix an issue causing players to warp to their feet after playing a diving catch. Cool. Uh, fix a rare issue preventing running backs from playing catches on swing routes. That actually happened to me a lot. Um, so I'm glad they fixed that. Fix a rare issue allowing defenders to use one-handed interceptions through receivers' arms. I, I, okay. I don't like that because any, any nerve to defense in an already offensive game is frustrating. Okay. Um, tuning to reduce the catch success chance for pass rushers when attempting to catch an errant throw-out-of-sack pass. 
Uh, okay. Um, basically, they nerfed D-line picks. I felt like D-line picks were honestly nerfed already, so it looks like they're going to be even more nerfed. Um, not too big of a deal either way. Uh, tuning to reduce the amount of catch-tackle knockouts specifically targeted at curl routes when leading away from the defender. Not a big fan of that because receivers already don't drop the ball that that much in this game. And I'm not necessarily advocating for drops, but if I have an ability that's a KO ability, I'd like to see them KO. Um, I just, I don't know. I just think, like, what are we supposed to do? Uh, like what are we what are we legitimately supposed to do? Because in this in this sentence, maybe I'll just run curl routes, curl flat all game, and it's gonna be hard to stop. So I don't know. I'm not too mad at this, but I don't like the again we're nerfing defense. Um, I, ironically, uh, tuning to real time AI adjustment logic so it will not take effect when the defense is using. Pass coverage or sub defense personnel. I really don't like this. Um, and the reason why is because <laughs> they're they're kind of forcing us to play like use three four to stop. Like we're basically forcing us into a personnel game where they come out in single back a slot, so we've got to come out in three four odd and then they come out in single back trips so we got to come out in nickel three three and then they come out in spreads so we got to come out in dollar i just don't like that uh and the main reason why is because the only good defense in the game is probably going to be dollar and you're just told me that we can't stop the run in dollar not a big fan of that um, after hearing your feedback looking at online game stats we've added Additional criteria, so the defense will now have to have at least as many defensive linemen and linebackers on the field as the offense has offensive linemen. I don't hate that. Um, and tight ends, but and tight ends. <laughs> the and tight ends I'm not a big fan of. In order to activate the benefit of recognizing repeated run plays. I played a game against a guy yesterday, and I'm not kidding you when I say he ran stretch 80% of the game. And it didn't really matter that the, the AI wasn't activating. So I'm just not a big fan of this. Um, I just I just really don't like I really don't like that change. Personally, I'm not like this is the worst. It's not it's not a, a massive problem right now. We'll have to see what comes from that in terms of how the offensive meta uh, changes. I just I just really I don't know. I just feel like Run defense in Madden 24. Like, like if you're going to do this stuff, fix pursuit, you know? Um, you're going to have to be using linebackers. That is pretty much a statement. Um, the question is going to become how to use linebackers and still be able to get pressure because most of the of the 3-4 four and 4-3 four, formations, you can't blitz out of them uh, with the exception of 3-4 odd, and we're going to get to that in just a minute. So... The best blitz in the game is now dollar, and it's not even close. And we have a full dollar ebook that explains it. But I just, uh, I just, I hate catering to runners. I think it's so bad for the game. Um, and that's just me. I know some people want to run the ball, but Madden twenty, you know, I mean, we're we're heading that way. But we're heading to a game where we're playing Madden twenty, but you can pass and you can't stop the pass either. I mean, it's just. I'm just really annoyed at the run. I don't think that's a good change. But it's not really significant as of right now. Um, tuning the QB contain logic, so only edge rush defenders that are very close to the line of scrimmage will be able to get assigned to contain. Um, they're trying to base. Yeah, okay. I, I, honestly, that's fair. Uh, fix an issue allowing a blitz exploit where the defense would slant out the defensive line after using a quarterback contain to get unrealistic. Edge heat. Now, interior pass rushers will take appropriate rush angles, understanding that the edge rushers are in a contain. Okay, so that statement right there, number one, uh, the way you the way you did the loop blitz was not crashing your line out. So they don't even know how we were loop blitzing, if you will. Uh, typically, crash line down was way better than crash line out. The other thing that I would say with this is I'm not necessarily mad that they fixed the loop blitz. Um, what I would, what I think you're going to start to see is the, the three man shed 
is going to be the thing because this right here, interior pass rushers take appropriate rush angles. I think in just from what I've seen in testing, the interior pass rush from the from the nose tackle and defensive lineman when you pinch your D line, it's actually pretty decent. So we'll see what comes of that. I, I'm not too that, that just basically means they patch the loop blitz. Um, fix an issue allowing a user controlled defender to tackle a punt returner after a fair catch. Cool. Fix an issue causing receivers to enter the give up assignment sometimes after a catch in the flat. Yeah, I saw that some. Um, causing kickers to walk toward the sideline. There you go. Um, okay, this is another massive change that I want to address. Modify the defensive audibles logic so teams can only audible to formations with matching personnel. Previously, users were only able to audible to different defensive sets within a defensive formation, but we were not looking at substitutions that were made prior to the audible. Users will no longer be able to audible to a set that puts their substituted safety on the defensive line. Users will have the ability to audible from nickel to dime if they have substituted a linebacker with a defensive back, uh, which they could not do before. I have to look into this a little bit more. Uh, that's that's an interesting piece right there. But but basically, here's the deal. Um, now, defensively, when you audible, you have to match personnel, kind of like you do in uh, offense. So, like, if you want to come out in a three wide receiver set and you want to audible into a jumbo, you got to put three tight ends in the game. I don't necessarily hate this. I just hate. I hate what it does to 3-3 Cub because 3-3 Cub was the only defense in the game where I felt like you could pretty much be solid against everything. And now with this change, you 3-3 Cub is now almost exclusively a run defense. So at least for right now. Um, and the blitzing out of 3-3 Cub is not anywhere near what it was. So – I don't know. I just don't like this change because I feel like it doesn't really provide more creativity to the defensive side of the ball, but it does provide way more limitation in a game where offense is just, I mean, you, you just do so much offensively this year. So I'm this, ah, I just don't like that change. I don't like that change. I know some people do. I just don't. Um, fix an issue causing a user controlled defensive lineman to sometimes get stuck in his stance. That was a big deal. We'll see how that goes um, and see if it actually impacts some other things that was happening in terms of the defensive line getting stuck in their stance after movement. One of the reasons audibling around was so good is it could sometimes manipulate your defensive line and get them to move. And if your defensive line moved, um, it would sometimes cause your D lineman to get stuck in their stance. So I'm again, just another reason to audible and very frustrating in my opinion. Now this is a big one and I want to explain um, why this is not as big of a fix as people might think. Fix an issue allowing users to snap the ball too quickly on a no huddle play carrying forward the fix from the last title update. So hopefully they continue to, patch no huddling because i felt like and and i don't know if anyone else did i actually felt like for some reason i was still getting pretty pretty badly quick snapped um out of a no huddle situation but the thing that i wanted to point out is in this game the meta and we're actually changing the way we teach offensive ebooks to reflect this Audibling from bunch to tight or from bunch to trips or from U trips to trips and then doing hot routes while they're motioning to those formations and snapping the ball was meta last year. It was pretty meta in Madden 22 and now it's going to be even more meta in Madden 24. Um, and so it, again, it provide that, that being a meta now makes defense more limited because you have to um, you have to adapt your defense to how they flip their formations. So again, I just think this is a decent change, but I'd like to see them do something about the audibling around because it's literally head scratching. And I'm, I know that real NFL offenses do shifts and motions and, and all that stuff, but it's just, it's just, 
it's just not a good way to the button delay is the main problem right because it messes up your adjustments if you're base aligned and then you flip you can't move players that that's the problem so if they fix the button input then it's not that big of a deal we can deal with the no huddle or we can deal with audibly and around Fix an issue where AI control team would burn their last time out early. Not worried about that. AI control teams would attempt longer field grenades. Um, I actually really like this. Tune in to pitch lateral accuracy to make it more difficult slash risky to perform a long distance lateral while moving in opposite directions. Users were able to create unrealistic long pitch plays using the speed option. I hated, I, I thought that was so stupid and um this is my opinion but um yeah i'm glad they fixed that 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 and that's been like i want to say this has been an issue in madden at least since madden 22 and i'm pretty sure since madden 21 um that you've been able to consistently do stuff like this so i'm hoping that that stuff's out of the game because it was really more stupid than anything in my opinion Fix a visual issue preventing the skill based power bar. Cool. Um, throw on the run. Yeah, that was a thing. Um, an issue causing inaccurate passes when rolling out pass leading the inside of a tight end. Wow, I'm interesting. Okay, so this is the big one. I'm not too worried about all this stuff. Hopefully, the inaccurate aren't as big of a problem. Uh, blocking. This is the. This is the. This is the thing. And this is the, I mean, this is the thing, man. Um, <laughs> added pass block logic to address several common exploit blitzes. And they named them. 4-3 even. Sam Will Blitz, gone. 3-4 odd. Pinch Bug Zero, gone. Dollar 3-2. Cover at 2 LB Blitz, gone. Um, some people say that this is, DB Fire 2. I actually don't think that because I kind of think DB Fire 2 works very similarly to the way it did pre patch. I think they're talking here about the when you would come out and cover two man and you walk the linebacker out on, on a contain and you could send four and get really good heat. So we'll see. Uh, nickel Triple Tampa 2. This was um, also very similar to Nickel 3 3 Cub, which is why it's listed right next to it. These were the A gap blitzes that were very powerful. And I honestly kind of hoped to stay in the game um, because it caused a five out or three chess match. So, yeah, um, every blitz, every good blitz in men 24 has been patched. And I'm honestly not I'm trying to think the right word. I'm not necessarily super mad that they patched really good blitzes. What I'm mad about is. There's nothing else. <laughs> um, like, what What do they want us to do? Because coverage is not there. You can't play a good, for send. you know, real NFL teams either send four or send five. Very rarely does a real NFL defense, a good NFL defense, need to send six. Because the sheds are so good, the pass rush is there. But every single defensive coordinator – and the NFL will tell you that one of the number one keys to defense is to get pressure on the quarterback. Okay. Um, that's why left tackles make a lot of money. And that's why defensive ends make a lot of money. Okay. So there's the, the, the foundation of defense is putting pressure on the quarterback. And in Madden, we just did that through creating blitzing concepts, but by patching every effective blitz in this game, you better have good sheds. Um, and so that's on a, something we're going to be testing out. Now, we know that the sheds are better this year than they were last year, but that doesn't mean they're good. <laughs> um, that doesn't mean they reflect NFL, okay? Um, most of these blitzes would give you about a second to two seconds to throw. Henry pretty famously sent five, sends five out a lot against any kind of defense that you play against him, and he was able to make a read part of what makes him so good the point that i'm trying to make here is just that how are we going to ensure that the quarterback only has two to three seconds to pass and because we can't cover for longer than three seconds in this game 
that's what is problematic. And that is why so many Madden players today on Twitter are really frustrated with this game because this was blitzing was the only way to get a stop because coverage wasn't there. Pursuit in the run game's not there. User capabilities aren't there. Drop picks are a problem. Match coverage is completely broken. Zone logic is terrible. The only way to get a stop was to send five or six out of man and basically hope that you got a sack or you got them in, um, or or you got a D line pick or something, and they patched all that. So I'm just saying, if you're if you're gonna take blitzing away, give us something to do. And so we're gonna be spending all day trying to figure that out uh, of what can we do now to get a stop in this game. But I'm kind of just I'm really frustrated that they. I'm I'm just really frustrated they patched all these blitzes, and it's not because I, it's not necessarily because they patched the blitzes. It's because by patching the blitzes, they now made it almost, I mean, just really difficult. If you play a competent man player, it doesn't have to be a pro, a competent man player that knows a little bit of what's effective, I don't know how you get a stop going forward uh, unless the sheds are improved. So we're hope hoping that that's true. Um, okay, tight pistol tight slots. Cool. Not too worried about that. Fix an issue. Uh, this actually, that'll be interesting to test. Those blue routes were interesting. Uh, improved, improve the, improve the run game. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we improve the run game? Um, yeah, these two things right here. Let's just make the run game better. And the thing is, someone tell me in the comments, if you know, how do you actually stop the run? Because outside of 3-3 Cub and Pinch Dollar and manning people up, and there's not a systematic way to stop the run in Madden other than to overload or get numbers uh, on one side. So when you start to make thing, all of the bad runs good and you, play some, and you start to play someone that is just kind of calling random run plays, it just really concerns me, and I, I'm just not a big fan of that. Um, I just, if you watch people try to pursue a, call a stretch from single back wing slot against any play in the game on defense, and just watch the pursuit angles, they're they're laughably bad. So, again, like, why why focus on making offense better? I'm not necessarily saying. Don't let us, or um, that you can't patch the defense, um, the blitzes. I'm just saying, why are we continuing to improve offense in an already offensive game? Next Gen Madden has been offense on steroids for the last three years. And here we are again. I just don't get it. Like, yeah, it is ins I just, I'm just, I'm really surprised. Um, I was hoping we would see a lot of stuff that would improve pass coverage, which you see down here and we're going to get to. Um, RPOs, uh, from what I know, we didn't see anything in here about them patching RPOs. So if you want to call an RPO alert bubble, you have a very good inside zone. If they, send, if they only send three, because you have to drop eight to cover a corner route in this game. So if you send three, Think of this through. If you send three, your whole team's going to get pancaked. If you send five, they're going to throw the bubble screen. And if you send, it's just, I just, I'm just shocked. I'm just shocked that this is what we we woke up to today. Um, and I'm really frustrated by it. Um, playbooks. Not, I uh, don't really care about this stuff, really. Uh, this right here is one. Uh, fix an issue causing the left end to get stuck in his pre-snap animation after pinching or crashing the D-line in the dime rush. Dime rush actually is a formation that has some, like it could possibly be a, a decent formation. So that's uh, a good fix, and hopefully hopefully that uh, formation is, is better. Okay, so pass coverage here. Um, fixed an issue allowing receivers to break away from defenders when pass leading backwards on streak routes. Awesome. Um, perfect. Fix an issue in cover for match, leaving the post route uncovered when using a hot route to streak the tight end 
on the gun double Z close escape play. I don't, I don't understand why they're doing this, where they're saying like we fix this specific setup, um, because match coverage in general needed a wholesale rehaul, and I don't see that here, which concerns me that match coverage is patched but not patched. Fix an issue uh, preventing the curl flat defender from using his own chuck and leverage the flat versus a slot receiver and three rod receiver bunch formations. Yep. Good. Good fix. Um, address the following cover for match coverage issues. So it doesn't say anything in here about patching cloud flats so that they back up to 30 yards. It doesn't say anything in here about, I mean, it's just, it's, it's frustrating because you can't, you can't rely on match coverage right now. So the only thing you have is zone drop, even though in real NFL, they use match coverage and match coverage principles for pretty much every formation. So, again, it just limits what we can do defensively. And as a defensive player, it really is its mind-boggling to me that we continue to give tools to the offense and we continue to take tools from the defense. And I just don't – I just don't – I mean, I'm just shocked. Like, you're, you're literally at this point going to be playing for one or two stops a game, which I feel like you kind of already were. So – I just, ah, I just don't get it, man. I just, because if you can't play match, we already know, and it doesn't say in here that they patched it. We know that if you put four wide receivers on one side of the formation, match coverage becomes zone coverage. You eliminate match coverage from the library. We know man coverage is not going to be very good. It's already really not that good, um, especially if you can't blitz from it. So you're back into zone, and zone doesn't play good. That's 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 the problem. Uh, gun trail wide flex vertical slot receiver left uncovered. Yes, gun trips. Okay, slot corner. Slot receiver uncovered when motioning in. Mm. It'll be interesting to test. Um, palm specific, yeah. Okay. So these are very specific things. Um, I'm not, I, I don't feel like I can speak to, like, like, if, like, think about this for a second. If you call, bunch trail or really any play from bunch and you take the solo wide receiver and you put him on any anything uh slant any in breaking route slant in route post route anything drag and then you put the running back on a wheel the running back will be wide open for a touchdown why didn't they address that i just like it's too easy to break match coverage man it, it just it's too easy to break match coverage it's almost unrunnable and it still is they just fixed random random problems um so we'll be testing that out hopefully match if match coverage is actually good and fixed we'll have an ebook on it and we'll probably be running that um so yeah that's pretty much it uh, that i wanted to discuss i don't know we're already at a long video um i think this is going to go down as one of the worst patches in madden history um and i i think it for, for me this is probably the worst patch in Madden history because of how significantly it's going to shift the scales in the offense's perspective and how much you will be limited defensively. And uh, that's not great for me. So, um, so anyways, uh, Patch, overall, I do like that we get grid our notes. I do like that they explain what they did. My hope is that I didn't like that we waited a month and a half for this patch. I didn't like, um, I didn't like that. I didn't like that we didn't. I mean, the slants are still a problem. Slants aren't fixed, um, regardless of what people might say. The slants aren't fixed. The RPOs aren't fixed, and the blitz has all got nerfed. Pretty, pretty frustrating patch, uh, in my opinion. That being said, we fight through it. We move forward. And if you guys want to learn how to get better at Madden, join the Patreon. Ten bucks will get you better uh, and we will get you uh, definitely scoring a lot of points uh, and hopefully getting at least one or two stops a game. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to join the Patreon, the link's going to be down in the description.